Hello everyone, welcome to Raw Survival, my name is Alex. This will be a video about the Yankee Model X from Prandi. I want to thank Prandi with this occasion for allowing me to review this beautiful X. The review will be comprised of two steps, one which I'll do at home and one which I'll conduct here in the field. Some technical aspects the overall length is about 35 centimeters. The X head weighs six, 600 grams. The length of the edge is 6 centimeters wide with the curvature. You can see so very beautiful shaped with a Prandi stamp on it. Very beautiful hanging of the X. USA genuine hickory handle and a leather lanyard. The X comes also with a snap-on sheet, which is high-quality leather, and uh, the bolts from the sheet do not affect the edge. You cannot damage the edge by holding the sheet on it, like on some other Xs that have a similar model of sheet. Uh, according to the size, it's perfect camp X for people who want to go in outdoors and just make a fire, cut some firewood, but also it's somewhat of an ideal size for a small bushcraft axe. The steel is 1045 carbon steel. I've tested already the, te the steel for corrosion resistance with lemon juice and onion juice. Uh, George Vram from EDC Romania assisted me during the tests, but I didn't film them. But the steel is highly resistant to rust even though it's high carbon steel. And for showing you what this small X is capable of, I have here some very nasty logs, which I'm gonna cut. With knots, it's hardwood, and we can just see how well the X performs. No problem on this. Try a cross cut here with the knots are. This here is beechwood, very hard, very tough, a lot of knots in it. I'm gonna see how well it performs. Finally, with the knot on the side, hardest cut for an X to make.
pretty hard to cut because the axe is lightweight but you can see the damage with enough effort we can make a clean cut even through hardwood I don't have a tree to chop off but I have this small log here and we'll try to see a cross cut Finally, what's good a bushcraft axe if it can do feather sticks? And also very comfortable in the hand. For carving. Very fine control on the axe. It's very comfortable in the hand. Easy to use in all positions. Last but not least, after cutting some wood, we need to see if it stays sharp. Let me see if I still have some here on my hand. Hope you can see it. Still shaving shop. Overall, I'm very pleased with the axe. I love the shape of the head. It's very very useful shape. I think it's American inspiration. I love the leather lanyard. High quality leather. Good to keep it around your hand. The axe is very lightweight, easy to carry. It doesn't take too much space in your backpack. And from what knowledge I have, it retails around 25 euros on the Prandy site. 
maybe less, maybe more, I don't have the exact details now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again to Bogdan Pone and Prandi for sending me this X for reviewing. I can definitely say that this model, after taking the handle in a small linseed oil bath and some cleaning up, will have a very special place in my bushcraft kit. One X fire. And not one dent on the edge. Man, I love this X. Asta e bună pentru
Well, hello everybody. In the first series of tests I'm going to conduct on the Yankee Model X from Prandi. Uh, I've put it in the freezer, left it there sitting for 12 hours. I intend to cool it up to minus 20-25 degrees Celsius and test the edge retention and the possibilities of cracks or failure in the metal. Because of this I'm going to take with you the axe from the freezer. It's exactly like it came from the producer. You can see we have a good amount of ice forming on the axe and I'll be cutting some ribs with bones using it to see how well the edge performs. I've got here some pieces of ribs and right after I reposition the camera I'll be showing you the effect. So here you have the pieces of ribs. You can see it's solid bone. And I'm just going to cut right across the bone section. edge holds up really nicely. Let me just grab a towel to clean it. No crack in the blade from what I can tell. And also there is one other test I'm going to try to perform. I have here a hammer. You can see the X is still cold and I'm going to pound this section here where the differential heat treat should end for the X to see if we have a crack in the metal. So, regarding heat treatment and metal quality, I don't see any problem. Fit and finish are also very nice on the axe. Very good wedge put in the handle. Also, I'd say perfect grain orientation and axe head to <laughs> grain handle orientation, the fit and finish is perfect. I'm, I'm very pleased with the result of the test. And finally, let's see if it still cuts. Hope you can see it. We move. It's still shaving sharp even after pounding bone. And I kept it for 12 hours in the freezer to make it cool. More details about the performance will come in the next moment. Thank you. Okay, so this concludes my review of the friendly Yankee Model X. And I thought it was necessary after presenting you 
the tests and the videos and everything to make some final annotations to the entire reviewing process. I rarely held in my hand some kind of equipment piece or some kit piece, some tool that uh, impressed me so much as this axe. It's beautifully made, it's, I, I like even the Prandy logo on it, you can see. It's tough, it's well made, well balanced. I Honestly, I didn't thought I would need another axe besides my Boy Scouts axe, which I have all the time with me. But after playing around with this, this Yankee axe, I'm astonished. The, the, the edge, the, the steel, the handle, how it fits in my hand, it, it's just... I don't know, I'm, I'm almost speechless regarding to it. And honestly, all of you people who know me know that I don't praise a product unless it's really high quality. And Brandy made a hell of a job with this X. Thank you again for viewing. Thank you for watching the video, please hit the comment section, give me some suggestions, give me your opinion if you own a Prandy Model X, and thanks again to the people at EDC Romania, especially Bogdan Poun, Cristian Antipa, and the folks at Prandy for the opportunity to hold such a beautiful tool in my hands. Everything good to you. Bye.